What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a new, uh, new type of episode. Uh, I like calling them episodes; sounds fancy. But this is gonna be a new type of episode I'm gonna start doing, and I'm not sure what to call it right now. It's just random thoughts. Every now and then, I'll get a random thought will pop in my head, and I'm like, I should really make a video about this. So, pre-warn you: there's not gonna be anything exciting going on in this video. So, if you don't want to watch, I understand. But it's going to be some good, uh, good content, some good thoughts, stuff that I, I think you're going to want to hear. And um, it's just my thoughts. That's what I got. Random thoughts. Random thoughts pop in my head, and I feel like I need to express my opinion to you guys on some things. So we're going to we're going to title this one "Bought versus Built" or DIY Do It Yourself versus Paying a Professional. Okay. I'm going to give you all my thoughts on it, and maybe you agree, maybe you don't, but whatever uh, I'm just gonna share how I think of it why my opinion is what it is you know and, and, and give you the details so the reason this popped in my head lately and if you've seen some of the latest video I put up on um, toe pig I got behind me here I recently took this down to a shop and I paid a professional to tint the windows now can I tint windows yes yes I can matter of fact every windshield I put in project SPL back to her chilling at spot every windshield I put in it I tinted on my own I know how to do it, I'm capable of doing it. But, but, I don't consider myself a professional. Can I do it? Yes. Do I do it every day? No. So, I, I, it's one of those things that for me, I've done it and I've done it really well, but because I don't do it on a daily basis, I'm more prone to make mistakes. <clears throat> so that's why I don't consider myself a professional at doing it. And when it comes to something like my project here, my, my truck that I plan on driving a lot, and I want it perfect and I wanted it more perfect than I felt I was capable of doing so in that instance it's just made sense for me like well who's gonna do it better than a professional who does this all day every day is their full-time job and so I, I had some recommendations to a certain local shop I took it there and they did a fantastic job and I believe 100% I could not have done as good a job as what that shop did on tinting my windows so when it comes to something like that, like tint windows, most people don't get into the big, oh, why didn't you do your install yourself, bro? You know, because it's, it's more of a simple thing. And again, tint windows is something that just most people don't do themselves. Most people pay a professional to handle that for them and pretty much for the same reasons I did. You know, so also bouncing out costs, I'd, I'd say this shop did it for a pretty good price for me. Way cheaper than I thought it was going to be, especially as they, you know, this is a crew cab truck. You had four doors, the back glass, and they did my windshield for me, and they did it for a very, very reasonable price. Where I, there was no argument, no trying to, to, to knock them down on price or anything. They told me the price, I'm like, let's go, let's do it. Because they had plenty of, of shots of their work, plenty of reviews, everything gold. And like I said, they, they did a fantastic job. So um, it got me thinking too, like, well, when it comes to other things, like car audio, why do people get so bent out of shape when somebody pays somebody else, a professional, to do some work for them. Because there's so many guys out there that just go off on, you didn't build that yourself, you pay someone to do it. Like, it doesn't count. Like, your stereo is not real if you pay somebody else to do it for you. So I just want to share some of my thoughts on that and relate it to something as simple as like window tint. Because like I said, I'm capable of doing it. I have done it. I'll do every piece of tint on Project SPL because that doesn't need to be perfect. For a drive like this, I want it to be perfect. My other truck that's outside my Denali, I paid somebody to do the window tint on that for me because I wanted it perfect, so I wanted a professional to do that every day to do it. Okay, um, I'll give you another another really good example is I don't cut my own grass. As, as weird as that might sound, I know some people like, some guys just love to cut grass, and that's cool. I don't. I can't stand it. I can't stand cutting grass. But even more than I can't stand do it and would rather have somebody else do it for me, I've actually broken down and done some of the math as far as what it takes because early this year I was looking at buying a lawnmower my kids said they would they would cut grass for a bottle lawnmower so I went and I priced out lawnmowers got opinions of people I asked my friends on Facebook got a lot a lot of great recommendations and um, when I actually broke down the math of what it would cost to buy a lawnmower and to do upkeep and maintenance oil changes blades stuff like that and um, and then with with my kids like I said my kids said they would cut the grass but this is, I, I, I have my kids work. They work to earn their allowance, to earn money. The more work they put in, the more money they can earn because I try and instill good quality values like that in them. 
So it's something where when my kids cut the grass, they will earn money doing it. And I, I factor that in because well, it's one of my things. I, I budget everything when it comes to money. Some of y'all are freaking out. I mean, somebody accused me of the daddy's money stuff. Like, man, if y'all don't know me, all, all my friends laugh about that comment that I was a spoiled rich kid spending family money, all this, whatever. Like, nah, man, I'm, I'm a grown man. I got a family at home. I got kids, you know. Anyway, I just, I'm really big on budgeting money. So when it came to me calculating paying a professional to cut my grass versus what it would take for me to do it myself, even though I'm not doing it, I'm having my kids doing it, I calculated all these things in and man, it just wasn't worth it. It, w it wasn't worth it for how cheap I get someone to, to, do, to do my yard for me. And they do a lot of extra work besides just cutting the grass. They, they do a ton of, of lawn maintenance and lawn care and it just didn't make sense financially. So when I, when I actually break it down, and do the math, I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing this. Like, I, almost, I come out better off. Now, here's what I'll throw a secret out there about me, some of you guys don't know, that also it's calculated in here. Um, on top of me working for Sundown, everybody knows I work here, I got some side stuff that I do, side stuff I run. I say I just, just, I have some side businesses of my own that I do and I handle. And so if I, if I break it down where I, right, instead of me putting in the couple hours it might take to handle my lawn because I've got a good sized yard. I've got about two and a quarter acres at my house. Instead of me handling what needs to be done out there, I take that same time and I put it into one of my side businesses that I do. I will make far more money than what little bit I pay someone to handle that grass for me. So not only is with the grass that I can't stand to do anyway with the tent, not only do I, would I rather have a professional handle that stuff for me that does it all day, every day, and they can do a far better job than what I'm capable of doing, but in some of these instances, it just makes financial sense. I'm going to come out cheaper to pay somebody else to do it than if I did it myself. Okay? I'll give you another example, you know, and, I'm, and, then, and then I'll stop with the examples here. But another, another quick example is we have a local shop here in town. It's right across the street. We're really great friends with them. We take a ton of work down there to them. They do a lot of our, our simple stuff, simple engine work. So say I want an oil change. They will do an oil change for us and it's ridiculously cheap. And if I stop and factor that I've got to get in my vehicle, I've got to drive to a store, I've got to buy my supplies, buy my oil, my filter, I got to come back, change my oil, I have to have something to catch the oil in, get all stuff in there between the time I've spent and then when I got my used oil, I've got to go dispose of it. and. That's another pain. I've done it. It can be a nightmare. Um, it can be it can be messy. Uh, anyway, you're gonna tell me I'm doing it wrong, whatever, bro. Just understand, I've gotta make almost two trips to pick up supplies. I've gotta put the labor into those that those trips, the labor into changing my oil, the labor in disposing of the oil. I can take my vehicle to the shop here in town, be like, hey man, hook me up with oil change real quick. They'll do it like that. And it comes out cheaper. It comes out cheaper than me doing it myself. So it's like, Cool, there's a lot of things I take pride in being able to say I did. Building Project SPL from scratch, I take a ton of pride in being able to say I did that. I built that from scratch. But when it comes to something like changing my oil, I don't care, you know, I'd be like, yeah, I paid someone to do it because it was cheaper than doing it myself. When it comes to tinting my windows, yeah, I paid somebody to do that because they're gonna do a better job than if I could do it myself. Same with cutting my grass. I can't stand doing it, it just, it's not my thing. Some of y'all may love to get out in that yard and work in the yard and cut grass. I don't, I can't stand it. So a professional is gonna do a far better job than I can. And they're actually gonna save me money by allowing me to invest my time. And I, I value my time very high. They're gonna save me money by allowing me to invest that time into something else that's gonna make me more money. So um, yeah, just, just keep in mind guys, a um, whole, whole other aspect, like when guys wanna pay a shop or pay anybody to do anything, don't don't harp on them so bad. It's it's not that bad. I've worked, I've done installs. I've, I've worked as an installer and doing custom boxes and all that stuff. And how do you, how do you think we stay in business? You know, how do you think any of your brick and mortar stores stay in business? They want to do installs for people. So I mean, so light, lighten up a little bit. Not everything has to be uh, you know like bought not built. You know like or built not bought. Excuse me. Like not everything has to be that way. It doesn't have to be. A hardcore my way or the highway one or the other like just just loosen up have fun like just because somebody pays somebody to install their head unit for them doesn't make that person not a real base head not a real enthusiast okay just because somebody paid because here's something that happens a lot you not very many people are good at enclosure design 
So you find somebody online that is, it's highly recommended. Like, hey man, that dude can do great enclosure designs. And you pay that guy doing enclosure design. No one's ragging on them people. Like, oh man, you didn't do your own design? Man, you ain't crap. Nobody cares. So why, when it comes to doing the rest of the install, I don't know, why do some of y'all flip out so bad? Like, man, it's, it's just not that serious, you know? Trust me, these, these installers, they, they need work. They appreciate the work. You know, I, I know a lot of young guys in car audio that that's their dream. They're like, man, I can't wait. I want to I wanna grow up to do this. I want to do these big fiberglass doors and these fancy installs and custom enclosures and the lights and the subs and all this. Well, if everybody was to do it yourself, or that work wouldn't be there. Those opportunities wouldn't be there. You know, so same as we want to do these installs ourselves. We, we want to take pride in doing this. Well, there's got to be people on the other side. There's got to be people that just know. They know I'm not a professional. I'm not going to be as good. I would rather pay somebody that's going to do a better job than I will. And then they're going to take pride in that. You can say, how, how do you take pride in something you just paid for? They still got base. They still got base. They still got a system, you know? And in a lot of these instances, that person still has a lot of influence on what they want. You know, they don't just like, and again, this, I don't doubt this happens, but it's not like you just take your vehicle to somebody and drop it off and like, hey man, hook me up. No, a lot of times you're at least going to tell that installer what you want. You know, you're at least going to let that installer know the type of equipment you want to run, things like that. So you still got some influence. You just don't dive in and, you know, and, and, and do the dirty part of the job because professionals can just do it better. So that's it. I'm going to wrap this up. I think y'all got the, the gist of what I'm saying. Like, let's all have fun. Let's all get along. Let's, let's not be so mad at, at the little guy that just isn't capable or just feels like somebody else can do a better job than them. Like, they can enjoy music too, you know, regardless of how it got there. We're all base heads. Let's, let's, all, uh, let's all come together and kumbaya and big hugs and just, there's no need for it all. So, that's it, guys. You know, I appreciate all the comments. Let me know how you feel. You know, is it that big of a deal? Is that big of a deal if somebody didn't build their own enclosure? Is it that big of a deal if someone didn't do their own design? You know, didn't install their own every little nitpicking thing? And, and if so, like, what's okay and what's not? You know, let me know your thoughts. Put it in the comments, you know, post it everywhere. Uh, tag me on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, just let me know how you feel. Always appreciate it. And remember, guys, if you like what we're doing here, click that thumbs up button. You know, give us a like. It's always much appreciated. Y'all are growing the channel like crazy. More and more subscribers every day. So we're wrapping it up. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell for notifications. So much more great content coming. Full install on Project uh, Topig right here. We've been doing some testing on Project SPL. So uh, super, super great videos coming up for it. Um, you're, you're not going to want to miss it. So um, until next time, guys. We will see y'all then.